When you gamble with your curry, you have to be prepared to either win big or lose big. <laughs> oh, oh black pepper. Double black pepper. Those are dangerous. Just be careful, Nobu. All over the world, there are so many different recipes for curry. And yet, when we make it, we tend to make the same one every time. So, to blow curry wide open, we decided to make a random curry recipe generator. But before we do that, we decided to come down to Mount Everest to learn how it's done for real. My first question is really simple. What is curry? Curry is a smooth gravy. We can use in any of our dish. It's like a sauce or a base? Is it's a sauce saying? base. How many curries are there in the world? There is a five. The first is your tomato one. The second one is the onion. The third one is we mix tomato and onion both. The fourth one, the spinach one. And the fifth one is the cashew nut. And it have an aroma. And that aroma only came because of these spices. This is black cardamom, black pepper, whole coriander. That's a cumin seed, jivitri. That's a clove, nutmeg. That's cinnamon stick, bay leaf. And that's a small cardamom. We just put these two things in a higher ratio. The cumin and the coriander seed are it's the a, base. It's the a base. base it's a base one. And then everything else is like the accent spices. Yeah. We just keep it in an oven for a one day so that it will be dry. Then we'll grind it. Is it curry powder or is there another name for it? We call it as a garam masala. That's a combination of all these spices. I see. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to come up with a machine that's going to pick our spices for us. It's almost like a robot to make our curry. If the curry machine gives us the same amount of all these spices, will it taste okay? Yeah. And it get virus, then you have to bring problem. <laughs> Big problem? <laughs> Yeah, you have any problem. Oh, oh no, yeah. we're gonna have big problems. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see how you, you make your curry. What's the first step? Putting the cumin seed. So you're frying the cumin. You can get the flavor easily. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mix it out. Onions. Mm -hmm. You want it that brown? The more you make it a brown, give you more texture. Mm. Now I'm just putting my ginger garlic. Ginger garlic. At last, you can put fresh tomatoes. So I'm just putting some few spices. This is salt, a little bit of turmeric, red chili, not too much, it's coriander. So you can smell it. Yeah, it's getting more and more complex. Yep. If you want, I can put some little fresh vegetable in it. Cheese and peas, whatever you Cheese want. Cheese and peas? Yeah. yeah. Cheese and peas, please. Oh, yeah, paneer. And paneer is an uncured yeah. cheese. Green peas. All right. So now I'm putting the main ingredient that is garam masala. All right. So that goes in at the end. Yeah. Wow. It smells awesome. So you want to try the curry with uh, something with bread? Sure. Or yeah, some naan. Just flour, water, milk, and a yeast. That's basically a clay oven. And there's no gas at all in there? No, there's no gas. Charcoal gives the real texture. Really good. It's incredible. It's so well balanced. You know, it's hard to tell all the different spices. Like they've they've come together somehow. I could keep eating this and keep. I'm mm -hmm. actually going to keep Go on ahead. eating it. It's so good. Go ahead. It's delicious. We'll let you know how our robot makes our curry. <laughs> if you got any problems, I will come and cook for you. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, I guess if we're going to do this ourselves, we should go get the spices for the garam masala. All right, let's go. To avoid making the same curry every time we make it, we've decided to make a random curry recipe generator. 
What that means is that a whole bunch of decisions are going to be made for us. It's like we're making a big game, but instead of winning money, we're going to win curry. And the curry is just the sauce base. And then after you make that, you add whatever else you want in your curry, like meat or vegetables. And then after that, you add the garam masala mix. In order to have a really, truly random recipe, we're going to use these roulette wheels to figure out our flavors and our spices for our garam masala. And then we're going to use the wheels to figure out our cooking process. And our last big gambling step will be to see how hot the meal's going to be using a pinball pachinko machine. Got a little carnival action here. The wheels you'd spin around, there'd be a clicker, the clicker would land on a nail and that would sort of pick our category. The first wheel would be like how many ingredients we pull from our master list. Then we have a master wheel which has like all of our ingredients on it. And then we spin a wheel to determine how much percentage of each one of those ingredients we put into our garam masala. I like your pachinko machine. Yeah, my cousin but, actually fixes them in, oh, ja yeah? in Japan. This is his job, but they're everywhere. They're ubiquitous. It's like a gambling pinball machine. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have like a lever, you release the lever, the ball goes up, the ball gets like bounced randomly through the nail. I say we make it higher stakes. You know, like make it like a spiciness pachinko machine. Yeah. Dedicated or, to heat. We have to have non. Yeah. And you were talking about making a little tandoori oven. Yeah, I was just thinking about using a clay flower pot. Just put charcoal fire in there. And, and stick then, the bread inside. Yeah. yeah and we have to determine randomness in our cooking process too. So chop or mash. Or freeze. Yeah. Every single decision yeah. we're gonna make is gonna be decided by some outside force, whether it's the wheel, pachinko machine, or anything else that's random. Yeah, if we put it on the wheel, we'll have to do it. We're going to make garam masala, and we're just going to dry out just the individual spices that we saw sure. at Mount Everest. So we just want the oven on low, like not even hot, just to dry it out, so that when we mortar and pestle them, they don't stick to each other. Green cardamom? Yep. Okay, so green fennel. Some cumin. Coriander? Yep. Yeah. We need a lot of that. That's serious heat. Yeah, very hot and, and like And deadly. extremely hot. Yeah. Seriously. Hot peas in the oven. Yeah. All right, so we should uh, start working on our uh, pachinko machine and our wheels. So what's the main theme here? Heat, right? Fire. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Burning. Burnt tongues. <laughs> Sure, man. Let's cry the shirt. Pretty low cut. I just want one thing, guys. While What's we're doing that, this man? Thing, just don't want this shirt to come between our friendship, you know? Right. Um. We always put these words on our spin wheel. We have like a little clicker flap. The clicker will land on a word, and then we'll have to do that action. What do they say? Simmer, boil, brown, dangle. Yeah. <laughs> add. We're gonna get random. Broast. Broast? <laughs> wow, man, those are all words that remind me of your shirt. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Are those colors paint for t-shirts? Yeah. You want a lightning bolt right there? We're going to put it on our Pachinko board. We should be willing to commit it to putting it on ourselves. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get started on grinding some of the spices, guys. Yeah, do it. All right, coriander seed. Ooh, it smells good over there. All right, cumin. It's okay. cumin time. Watch and learn, people. Look at that muscle right there, man. I don't, you don't see that muscle every day. Woo! I can't believe that they used to do this in olden yeah. times. What kind of chili is he doing? I'm grinding up the scotch bonnets. Right, those are dangerous. Just be careful, Nobu. Oh. What's going on, man? Oh, I just huffed a whole bunch of hot peppers. <coughs> You're wearing the wrong clothing right now, man. That's that V-neck. You could burn yourself pretty bad. You, you should be wearing gloves, maybe. Yeah, gloves and maybe a turtleneck. It's over. Done. So all we have to do is put the plastic on it. 
Alright, let's try it out. It's a beaut. So right. we gotta load it up first. Okay. Oh, it's so fun. Alright, every ball that gets stuck in the goatee means a quarter chili in our dish. Like that? Yeah, let's try it like that. There we go. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> one chili. One ch uh, well, one, one fraction of a chili. Our freshly ground curry spices are ready to go. We've been making tweaks to our random curry recipe generator, which is the pachinko machine and the wheels. So we're getting closer on having a random curry. However that's going to taste, we're about to find out. All right, we've got like our garam masala section. Yep, the spices. And then we have our like method of cooking our meal right, right. here. And then we have our heat determining game right here. And to help us with some of the decisions to with fresh food, we'll be using dice. We have to make a pact actually to stay true to the randomness. Okay. Yeah. So we start <laughs> with the number of ingredients in our garam masala. Right here we have the actual names of the spice. Which then relates to our percentage disc. Like if you got the bonus bag of chips where you got 20% bonus, then you would get the 100% you usually get of chips and then 20% extra chips. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We can't understand <laughs> so well. All right. All right. All right. Come on, oh, man. Here we go. Come on. Right. Oh, oh, 10. 10. Spicy. All right. All right. So we're heavy duty. Ace. 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 Ace at 60%. 60%. No. Oh, oh, black, black pepper. pepper. All right. 120% to be a little bit extra. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, and oh, black, black cardamom. 110%. Oh. All right, cinnamon, cinnamon. <laughs> oh, oh black pepper! Double black pepper. Oh. That's harsh. That's harsh. That's two hundred and thirty percent of our regular black pepper. Okay, the last spin. Bay leaves would be fun. Yeah, yeah. Bay leaves, oh. not black pepper. Not black pepper. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Bay leaves. Bay leaves are good. Oh. That's close. Okay, so yeah. what are we cooking? We have. Well, we have to figure out our medium. And we're doing that with dice, right? Yeah. Yogurt. Yogurt. Okay. So now we need to roll to determine which fresh food ingredient we're going to use. Yeah. Spinach. Spinach. E? That's P.E. That's peas. All right. Carrots. Potatoes. All right. Chicken. So we have a potato, peas, spinach, carrot, chicken curry, curry. with yogurt. So we're going to spin this one, I guess, to figure out like, the action. OK, we'll start with the potato. Who <laughs> grind our potatoes? <laughs> dice or <Dice>. peas? <laughs> and chicken. Uh, <laughs> grind our chicken. It's fine. We have a meat grinder. We gotta play by the rules. Okay, so how are we gonna grind our potatoes? Rapidly. Mechanically <laughs> blend the carrots. <laughs> are we gonna grind the chicken? You're kind of scared. Like you just <laughs> don't care. <laughs> All right. Solid curry. Yeah. Oh, should we see how hot it is? How hot's it gonna be? So this is how many balls we're gonna risk for Two our the, chili. Yeah. Two. <laughs> Two balls. Uh, we might not even get. Just might... no human intervention. OK, you guys ready? I know you want chilies in this, Mike. Uh, I'm going to no, make it happen. How hot will it be? You only got two balls. Two balls. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. There it oh, goes, yeah. there it goes, there it goes. Oh! No chili. Sweet. It's looking Sweet. good. It's looking good so far. Oh, oh no saved chili. by the uh, All right. We have a recipe. We, we better get started on this stuff. <laughs> we can put together is the garam masala spice mix. Our percentages is based on what we would normally put into a recipe. A mace, we would put in probably about half a teaspoon. Yeah. That's yeah, 60%. All right. The pepper, we're doing 230% of what we would normally put in. Oh, that's a lot. Ah, that's fine. OK, star anise. Star anise, 20%. Tiny little bit. So this is the garam masala. Yeah. I'm gonna start preparing the fresh ingredients. I'm gonna start the naan dough. Yeah, do it up. 
I'm now going to sweetly chop the spinach. And I'm gonna make a random rice. Are you gonna do that randomly? Or are you gonna humanly intervene? I'm gonna go random. I gotta rapidly grind the potatoes. Yep. Okay, following the recipe. Oh, double turmeric on our rice. It's gonna be a yellow rice, bright yellow. I gotta rapidly dice the peas? Oh man, that's ridiculous. Okay, we're having rice with black cardamom, turmeric times two, bay leaves times two, and mace. Maniacally blending the carrots. As part of the rice recipe, you're supposed to brown some nuts. Did you pick any in your random? No, but I went with random seasonings, but I thought I would go with rice and nuts. It doesn't sound so Make me a rice wheel and then I'll, I'll do it. No, but, but roll, the, roll the dice. But there's no, there's no rice wheel. Well, then make up something. Here, okay. You know what? I'll help you out. I want cashews. Cashews. Pistachios and mango to be in this rice. <laughs> Is that like uh, intimidating the dealer? Okay, let's play blackjack for a second. Hit or stay? Yeah, yeah, hit me. Okay, yeah. so you're out on pistachios. It's not me that, that isn't uh, going to get the cashews. No, it's, 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 not, it's you guys it's that aren't going to get the cashews. Oh, 21. We're... All right, so you're not getting cashews. <laughs> okay? This is for all three now. Okay? <laughs> all three. All right? I'll stay. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Blackjack. Damn. Okay, so no mango, no pistachios, no cashews. So what? is this going to be plain rice? No, no, he's got all kinds of stuff. I lost it all. Right, you know what, Michael, we're supposed to grind our chicken. That's right. You know what we can do Pakistani style? So we can put our seasoning inside of our chicken and then put marinate it. it in yogurt, in with the garam masala. Skewer it and then tandoori oven it. Put in some of your rice flakes. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah, that absorbs some of the moisture. Okay, I'm about to get started on the, uh, the curry. Regardless of what we got randomly, we're always gonna have a background flavor. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Cumin, coriander seed, Onions. There it is. Awesome. Garlic and ginger. And we're also going to add the fresh ingredient. That looks good. And then we're going to add to that the garam masala mix that we made. I say we just put the yogurt in right now. Yeah? Throw it in, yep. Okay. This is definitely a curry I would have never arrived at without the random help of our random system. So let's just let that set. Yep. So we got our curry. Okay. Let's randomly decide where we're gonna eat, okay? So inside or outside? One to three is inside, four to six is outside. All right, five. We're outside. <sighs> that was close. Yeah. Of course, you're taking my word for it. I could be lying. The chicken balls are ready to come off the grill. Oh, they're beautiful. It's amazing. Chicken ball. We have lots of naan. But the idea is that you stick them to the inside of the tandoori oven. They cook and then you peel them off. Yeah, it's bubbling out. We're getting out. Oh, yeah! Oh, we lost oh, one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's great hanging out around the old fire pot with you guys. <laughs> That's cooked. You guys ready to eat? Yeah. Yeah. By using a random curry recipe generator to make our curry, we've made something that we would never have made before, so we're out of our curry rut. Check it out. Chicken tandoori random, random curry random, random rice, but we have no idea what it tastes like. It looks good, but we're gonna now taste it for the very first time. Let's eat. All right. Let's try this random curry. What? What, man? How did cashews end up in the rice? Oh, my God. There's pistachios in there, too, and mangoes. The three things that you weren't allowed to put in here. <laughs> you lost to the house, but you couldn't handle it. There you go, bro. Wow, the random curry has like, the potatoes turned into the sauce, really. 
Potatoes are like mashed potatoes. You know, we were so worried about the black pepper too, and I think the potatoes took care of the black yeah. pepper. I think the yogurt mm. in there is taking care of a lot of the, 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 the heat. It's yeah. rich and mellow. Next time I won't be so afraid of like double doses of, of spices. I'm not really finding any one flavor dominating the curry. I wouldn't say it's a jackpot, but I would say it's way better than what I would have made on my own. Yeah, it's truly unique curry. You tried the knot? The knot are good, they're a little bit sweet. Yeah. The randomness of the cooking in the flower pot really helped out. Mm -hmm. You know what though? Wow. The rice, I can't tell what it is, and I made it. It's pretty random. Anyone try the chicken balls yet? No, I'm gonna try it right now. Yeah. It's good. This is a great meal. It's kind of a lot of work to cook randomly. It would be kind of nice to have like an automatic random cooking device. You know, like if it was truly a curry robot, like we were talking about in the beginning. Mm.